Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you some of the best things that you can do in Stratford-upon-Avon, the birthplace of William Shakespeare. So Stratford-upon-Avon is a charming town in England that has a lot of history and culture to offer, including beautiful river walks, churches, butterflies, and obviously more Shakespeare-related locations than you could ever wish for. So uh, let's get started. So the first place that I need to mention is the iconic Shakespeare's birthplace. This is the house where the famous playwright was born and grew up. You can start by exploring the beautiful gardens before heading inside the house where you can see the rooms where Shakespeare lived, the furniture he used and even some of his personal belongings as well. There are even actors inside the houses that can tell you some of the in and outs of Tudor life, including some uh, origins of some very common English expressions. My favourite was uh, to hit the hay, which we found out comes from the fact that mattresses used to be made out of hay. And so before going to bed, you would actually quite literally hit the hay to break up the lumps uh, to get a better night's sleep. So yeah, hit the hay. So the great thing about Stratford is you can actually trace Shakespeare's entire life throughout the locations in this town. Shakespeare's birthplace is certainly the most famous location, but there are many, many more that you can see to give you a complete picture of the life of Shakespeare. After his birthplace, you can go to Shakespeare's Guildhall and schoolroom where he attended school and saw his first plays. Uh, so this is a very important place for his education and inspiration as a writer. And after this, you can go back in time a little bit to Mary Arden's house, which uh, was the house of his mother. This is a working farm where you can see how people lived in the 16th century. You can explore the Tudor buildings that have been restored to their original state, as well as these beautiful gardens. And then we move a little bit forward in Shakespeare's life to Shakespeare's new place, which is where he spent the last 19 years of his life and he lived here with his wife and kids. Unfortunately, the original house here was demolished in the 18th century, but you can still see the foundations and the gardens where he wrote some of his most famous works. You can also see some sculptures and artworks that celebrate his legacy and influence. It's very sad that the original house was demolished because it was actually the largest and most expensive house in Stratford at the time, costing a whopping £120. Now a little bit of practical advice, if you're looking to visit all of these locations you can pay entry costs separately but there also is a combined ticket which works out much cheaper and much easier as well. I'm not sure of the exact cost but it was around £20 to £25 per person so pretty good price for all of these Shakespeare related locations. But now it is time to finish off Shakespeare's story and now we're going to visit the Holy Trinity Church which is where Shakespeare was baptised and then 52 years later where he was buried on the 25th of April 1616. The church itself is a beautiful medieval church that is located on the banks of the River Avon, which is the river that flows through the town, which is actually what I'm going to talk about next because one of the most relaxing things to do once you've kind of grown a little bit tired of all of the crowds in the town centre, you can have a walk along the banks of this river. It's absolutely beautiful, serene, picturesque, and you can enjoy the views of the town, the bridges and the swans that seem to be always here. You can also even take a boat ride along the river and see some of the landmarks from a little bit of a different perspective. Another thing located on the banks of the River Avon is the RSC, which stands for the Royal Shakespeare Company, which is one of the most renowned theatre companies in the world. You can see some of their amazing productions of Shakespeare's plays and other classics, and the canal basin just next door to that is a great place to relax and enjoy the views. So before I move on to my next location, I just wanted to quickly mention, if you are really enjoying the video, please do consider subscribing. We have many, many videos from all over the UK and even more, in fact, we have some very exciting videos coming up from all over Europe as well. So yeah, whatever kind of uh, travel you're interested in, feel free to check out my channel because I'm sure there's something uh, for you on there. And yeah, anyway, on to the next location. 
What's uh, all of this? Yeah. Oh, they're bugs. I know, I just saw them moving. I thought they were part of the plant. Yeah, we too at the beginning, and then I just, I looked over and they're all just moving. <laughs> That's weird. The guest stars. The guest stars, sorry for that. That's good, I'll include, it. I'll include it. I'm going to include it. Speaking of Ellie, obviously we now get to Ellie's favourite location in Stratford, maybe, which what? is Stratford Butterfly Farm. Yes. It's a tropical paradise where you can see hundreds of colourful butterflies flying around. They might even land on you. There's one here, one there, one there. <sighs> you can also see some other exotic insects and animals like spiders, scorpions, ants and this hefty guy right here. A lot of people actually walk straight past him so um, I would certainly uh, suggest to keep an eye out because he's hidden somewhere in the grasses and cool to see. And with that we're on to the last location and we're going to go full circle back to Shakespeare's birthplace because it's actually located on Henley Street which is one of the oldest streets in Stratford. This is where you can find some of the best shops, cafes, pubs and restaurants in town. Some highlights are the MAD Museum which stands for Mechanical Art and Design Museum. Also the Henley Antiques Centre which we found an amazing record store inside there if uh, that's your thing. And why not have a traditional sweet shop experience as well? So I, I would say Stratford is a really nice town, but it gets a bit crowded sometimes. So try to just come off season if that's a thing. And you don't necessarily need to come in the summer, I think, either. Because it's so much to do indoors. You don't even need a sunny day. It can even be pouring rain and you'll have a great time, I think. So yeah, very historical, very cultural. It's very pretty. So yeah, and that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you are planning to visit Stratford or if you know of more places in Stratford, please do let me know. It's a really beautiful town with lots of uh, history and beautiful sights there. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe if you want to see more and feel free to check out the other videos on my channel as well. Um, but I will see you in the next one and goodbye.